Um, what is it that is uh, determining what New York Times editors will see as they're thinking about their paper for the next one? Well, even that has evolved. I mean, when I, I first came to CNN in 1997 after being a Wire guy for the longest time, and it used to be that the Wire drove the morning because there used to be this instrument at the White House. In, I'm talking about just in Washington. There was an instrument at the White House called the Gaggle, where the press secretary would bring the wires in to his or her office, in, in those days exclusively his office. You know, and so the wires would come out and file, and that would, they would file around 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning, and the Today Show and Good Morning America and everybody else would go you know, chasing the, it's like five-year-old soccer ball, everybody chases the ball. <laughs> you throw it out there and everybody chases it. And it was a brilliant strategy in the White House part. You throw a few new things out there and everybody will chase them. The Clinton people redefined the role of cable networks because they realized in the course of 15 minutes, let alone the course of an hour, you could change the news cycle. Mm -hmm. You could change what people were talking about. So when Bill Clinton didn't like what the lead story was, they would do something to change it, either through just a subtle <coughs> leak to the cable stations and the wires. The, you know, cable guys would go on TV, and that's what people would see in their newsroom. It's, a, it's very clever, and it's somewhat cynical, but that's what they do. I mean, we always have to realize in our business that we tend to get along, for the most part, you get along professionally and sometimes even personally with the person on the other end of the phone, but they're advocates for somebody, whether it's the White House Chief of Staff or the White House Press Secretary. Their job is to push somebody else's agenda on you. I think it's interesting to watch this White House because we're still learning. We're at, what, day 31? So don't set your opinions in stone. They're likely to change a little bit. But you know, with Rahm Emanuel now back as the Chief of Staff, Rahm was a senior advisor in the Clinton days, and he used to get furious. I mean, after I switched to television, you'd go out and do a live shot depending on whatever story it was, and if Rahm didn't like what you had just said on television, and this happened a lot during the Lewinsky, but also on other more substantive policy issues as well. You'd come back down to the booth, you know, the CNN booth's in the basement of the White House, you come into the press, you walk down. it's on tape. Yeah, it's on tape, hi, Ron. <laughs> um, you'd, you'd, walk, no, but you'd, you'd walk back into the booth, you'd walk back into the booth, and the red light on the phone would be flashing, the producer would just look up and you go, Ron. <laughs> you'd take the phone and, whoo! <laughs> and so it's, he, he lived this, he knows the good side of it and how to use it to his advantage politically, and he, he was there at a very tough time for the Clinton White House when he was not always a fan of the cable chatter, as the president calls it. So I'm actually fascinated to see how this evolves as this administration plays out.